Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I'm a freelance editor and the author of possibly by the time you're watching this, three books. My first book is called The Sweetest Kind of Poison. It's a poetry collection about toxic and abusive relationships. My second one is called The Anti-Virginity Pact. It's a young adult contemporary novel. And my third book is called Poems for the End of the World, which is coming out October 1st of this year. And I'm super, super excited about it. If you hear noises in the background, that's my cat. So for the release of poems, I thought it would be fun to talk a little bit more about self-publishing because I am an indie author. I know a lot of you guys have questions on that or if you're just kind of curious. So I asked you for questions on Instagram and if you find this helpful or interesting, let me know down below in the comments or you could even leave additional questions down there and maybe we'll make a part two. I have a tier on my Patreon page called Self-Publishing 101 where I share all of the behind the scenes stuff. So there's a ton of other content on there if you're interested, but I also wanted to bring a little more publishing content back over onto my channel hence this video. Before we get into the rest of the video, thank you so much to Campfire for sponsoring. Campfire is a writing software that I've worked with a couple of times in the past and I absolutely love and they have a brand new product coming out which is super super exciting. Campfire Blaze is a browser-based suite of tools to help you keep your writing organized. You can collaborate with friends in real time or by yourself to flesh out every facet of your story. You can develop your manuscript in Blaze's word processor, create characters, design your plot, and world build without restrictions. And when you're done, you can easily share your story with your friends and fans. You can start out with Blaze's free version and purchase tools as you go. So you can build your subscription so you're only paying for the features that you want. You can add modules for as little as 50 cents or unlock everything for a few dollars per month with a 30 day return policy. Campfire is a great option if you need a writing software that can help you visually organize your complex plots. Campfire Blaze is free during October's open beta. So check out the link down below in the description if you wanna try them out. And without further ado, let's get straight into your questions. This first one is one of the most common ones and it's kind of one of the hardest ones to answer too because there's no straight answer. How much on average does it cost to self-publish editors, book cover art, etc.? The reason why this question question is so hard to answer is because there is no on average. In my opinion, if you want to publish the best book possible and you want to be able to compare to your competitors and for readers not to be upset about the quality of what they're paying for, you do need to invest some money into your books. But this is different for everyone based on the skills that they have, where they choose to allocate different parts of their budget. So the main things that you're going to have to think about when you're publishing a book cost-wise, obviously editors, there's different kinds of editors. Do you need a developmental editor to help you with story structure and the plot of your novel? Do you need a line or copy editor just to clean up your grammar, punctuation, and that kind of stuff? Are you going to hire a proofreader to go through your book one last time before it gets published? Do you need to hire a formatter to format the book? And obviously the cover art is really important, but creating the best product possible also isn't where you should stop because how are you going to get that book into the hands of readers? How are you going to advertise? How are you going to market? These are all things that you need to think about when you're making a budget for your book. So on average, how much does it cost? It depends on what services you feel like you need. You kind of have to pick and choose what you think you need to spend money on. But to give you like a ballpark estimate, there are industry standard rates of like a range that you can expect. I found this image, I'll put it on the screen on Google of something that you could expect for a novel that is 70,000 words. I'll also leave a link down below for there's a chart on how much you can expect for different services that are within industry standards. But I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not cheap. But also coming from an editor, there's a reason why it's not cheap. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of time that they put into your manuscript. So these rates that you see on the screen, that's not the same for every editor. Like when you're hiring freelancers, everybody has their own rates. So like these rates on the screen, those are more expensive than when I charge, but another editor might charge even more than that. So it's about finding the right editor for you and finding an editor within your budget. And then as far as cover designs go, I've heard of people spending as little as $100 on their cover to $800 on a cover. So again, it really comes down to what cover designer you hire and how much you're willing to pay. I definitely think if you're going to put money into anything with self-publishing, your cover and your editor should be the big spenders. That is where you don't want to skimp on the costs because having a poorly edited book or a bad cover it's not going to do you any favors. If you're interested in exactly how much money I spent on each of my books, I have that video on my Patreon page. But there's also a ton of really good ones here on YouTube where people talk about how much they've spent on their books. And you'll notice in every single video, it's different for everybody. And even like my three books, drastically different how much I spent for each one. Very, very different. So it's different between books and the needs of each book and it's different between each person. Hi, I'm editing this video right now and I realized I wasn't totally satisfied with the answer that I gave because there were a couple of things I wanted to talk about that I forgot about. So um, other factors that might go into how much money you end up spending to get your book published depends on the genre. Um, some cover artists charge different rates depending on what kind of cover you need. 
and how much work it's going to be for them to do. So it depends on what the standard like trends for your genre are and your cover and what it's going to need. Like if you want like several characters on your cover that can cost more and things like that. And then also with the editing side, naturally if you have a longer book it's going to be more expensive because a lot of editors charge by the word or even if they charge by the hour it's going to take a longer amount of time. And then also um, depending on how much work your writing needs, if you're doing like a line or a copy edit, if you have writing that needs a really really heavy copy edit it might be more expensive. So always try to make your writing as clean as possible before you send it to your editor. So the reason why this one is so difficult to answer is because some people spend like 200 maybe 500 dollars to publish their first book. Some people spend like a thousand to two thousand dollars. Some people drop like twenty thousand dollars on advertising once their book comes out. So there's just like so much variation here. But that's not to say like you can't publish a book if you don't have twenty thousand dollars to drop on ads. A lot of people don't do that. But I would save up some money to try and give your book a Once you finish editing and you think it's good enough to move forward, what next? Yeah, this is hard too because it's different for everybody. So, okay, you edited the book. I'm going to make the assumption that you've written the book, you've edited it yourself, that's where you're at. At this point, I would recommend that you find the second opinion of some other people. Get some beta readers to read it or some critique partners to read it to help you go through another edit. And then at this point, if you've made the decision that you're going to self-publish, make a plan for yourself. You don't want to jump into this blindly. I would really advise you to sit back and really think about what your strategy is going to be, what your long-term plan and goals are going to be. Self-publishing is 100% a long-term game and the more you can think ahead and the more you can figure out what you want to do in the future, I think the better off you'll be. But let's say you've edited the book, you've gotten some second eyes on it. If you're going to hire an editor, which I would recommend you do, start looking for them early on because a lot of them book really far out in advance. And if you're looking to have someone start for you next week, odds are it's just not going to work that way for you. Like me, for example, it's September right now and I'm almost completely booked until January. And I'm sure there are other editors out there who are even more booked up than I am. So contact them as early as possible. Same with your cover designer. I've seen cover designers booked more than six months in advance. So definitely something you want to get on early, especially if there's an editor or a cover designer that you really want. Don't assume that they're going to be available for you when you're ready if you don't book them far enough out in advance. Like for me, I just hired my newest cover designer this month in September and the earliest they could get me in was like late in January. So think ahead for those. But yeah, once you finish editing the book, make sure you hire an editor and a cover designer. And at this point, you could start working on the blurb, the description, the metadata for your book. What keywords are you going to use? The biggest recommendation I would have here is just to start researching because there is so much information out there, way more than I can cover in the single video of everything that you want to know before you publish the book. Decide, are you going to publish it wide or exclusive to Amazon? And really take the time to research your different options and what you think fits best with your goals and your strategy, which you've planned out ahead of time. What's the best platform for self-publishing? Again, there is no best platform or one right way to do it. It comes back to your strategy and what your goals are and what you want to get out of it. So your options here are if you want, you can publish what's called exclusive through Amazon. You can put your book in Kindle Unlimited and that means you can't publish it anywhere else. Kindle Unlimited is its own beast and we won't get super into it here because that would be a whole video. But that's one option for you but if you don't want to do that you can still publish through Amazon but you won't be in their Kindle Unlimited program and then you have the option to publish it wide. Um, you can do this by doing expanded distribution through Amazon or you can go directly through all of the different vendors like Barnes & Noble Press, Kobo, Apple Books, Google Play, Draft to Digital helps distribute your ebooks to several different places, things like that. Whether one's better than the other, who's to say some people have really great success being exclusive through Amazon, some people would never use Kindle Unlimited, so it's really up to you. I personally have wide distribution for my books, which means I upload them through all of the different sites. Um, so this is a similar question. If I sell on Amazon, am I only allowed to sell on there? If you are exclusive um, through them, then yes. You'll know because when you're setting up the book, it asks you a question, do you want to enroll in this? And you have to click it if you do want to be exclusive through them. But if you don't click that, um, you can sell other places. Is it hard? And then like... I don't know how to explain that emoji. What word would you use to describe that one? I've gotten a lot of like similar questions like this. Here's how I look at it. Um, if you want to go into self-publishing, I think you need to be honest with yourself and ask how much are you willing to put into this? Because when you're becoming a self-published author, you're not just becoming an author, you're becoming an entrepreneur. Like you are starting a business essentially. And so just writing the books isn't going to be your only job anymore. 
you are gonna wear every single hat in the game. You're gonna be the marketer, the PR company, you're gonna be the copywriter, you're gonna have to do bookkeeping, like you're gonna have to do everything for this book. And I don't mean to say that as a bad thing, like I love that I get to do everything, like marketing is actually really, really fun for me to the point where I have to remind myself that I need to be writing the next book too because I get so swept up in marketing the books I already have because it's fun. So whether traditional or self-publishing is right for you really just depends on how much work do you want to put into this? How involved do you want to be in this process? Do you just want to write the books and let other people handle it? Or do you like the idea of being in complete control and making all of the decisions and playing around with your books and things like that? Is it hard? Um, if you want to do it well, I think you need to be willing to put in the time and the effort and do all of the research and work hard for it. But if it's a good fit for you, I don't think it feels like work. It can be very time consuming and draining and there is a lot to do behind the scenes. So I don't want to downplay that that at all. But I think it just comes down to figuring out what's a good fit for you and what your goals are and what you would rather be spending your time doing. And then probably the most popular question I always get is why not traditional publishing? Why did you choose to go self-publishing? All of that kind of stuff. This could be its whole separate video. I've honestly kind of put off making it because there's just so much to talk about and so much to go into it and I've had a hard time like organizing my thoughts to make a coherent video on this. If it's a decision that you're trying to make yourself, I would really recommend that you do a ton of research on both options and make a list, make a pros and cons list, but also make a list of your goals and what you want to get out of this and the experience that you want to have. For me, I prefer to work for myself. I like working for myself. I do with my regular job. So the idea of being in charge of everything and being in control of everything was very appealing to me and I enjoy doing all of the different aspects of it. Whereas with traditional publishing, you don't really get a say in most steps of the process. So for me, the challenges that come with self-publishing are actually kind of what makes it fun for me and I enjoy doing all of that. I enjoy being on my own schedule and deciding how many books am I gonna write this year? When am I gonna publish them? What am I gonna write? Like I don't have to wait for someone to tell me yes and give me permission. I can just make my own schedule and decide what I wanna do. There's less gatekeeping. It's just I have more control over it, which I really like. So hopefully this answered some of your questions. If you can think of any more, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know and maybe we could do a part two answering more questions because there's always more to talk about. If you're new here, maybe subscribe and stick around. I'd love to have you here. All of my books are linked down below. If you want to go grab a copy, I'd be super appreciative. And I will just see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With